Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we're sharing a dining review of the Tutto Gusto Wine Cellar, located inside the Italy Pavilion at the Epcot World Showcase. Tutto Gusto is a lounge that's right next to the Tutto Italia full service restaurant. So it's a great option if you're craving some Italian food or wine and you weren't able to get a dining reservation at either Tutto Italia or Via Napoli, or if you don't want a full sit down meal. We really love the decor inside this lounge that's modeled after an authentic Italian wine cellar and they have more than 200 different bottles of Italian wines. They also have a full service bar as well as lounge seating and tables where you can order small plates and fresh pasta as well as a few entrees and desserts. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us today. If you like what you see, we welcome you to come and visit our channel because we've got lots more content like this with our dining reviews around Disney World. We hope you enjoy coming along with us today. Hey friends. So tonight we are at the Tutto Gusto Wine Cellar. This is right next to the Tutto Italia Italian restaurant in the Italy Pavilion. So we're excited to, to come here and try this out. So they have a lot of the same um, drinks and menu items as you can get at Tutto Italia, but this is not a dining reservation location. You do need to go up to the entrance to Tutto Italia and they put you basically and get you a table or you can go straight up to the bar if you just want drinks. And you can see behind us this beautiful bar. It feels like you're in a wine cave. It's beautiful in here. It's very cozy and like dim lighting and dark and got lots of wine and, and dark wood trim it's, and brick. It's really pretty in here. Although Tutto Gusto is known for their selection of Italian wines, they also have a small menu with a variety of appetizers, pastas, entrees, and desserts. Appetizers include a charcuterie board with meats and cheeses and accompaniments, as well as a Caesar salad, a beef carpaccio with wagyu beef, calamari, and a caprese salad. Pastas include a traditional lasagna, spaghetti, penne pasta with vodka sauce and lobster, grilled chicken ravioli with pesto sauce or gnocchi. Entrees include a pan seared salmon, chicken parmesan, a grilled New York strip steak, and grilled chicken with fettuccine pasta and parmesan cream. Desserts include a cannoli, a cappuccino truffle, a selection of gelatos and sorbet, a key lime cheesecake, a grandmother cake with custard cream, and a classic tiramisu. Kids meal options include spaghetti, chicken tenders, mozzarella sticks, and either a cheese or pepperoni pizza. In addition to their extensive wine list, you can also choose from a selection of wine flights, including Under a Tuscan Sun, From the Hills of Pimonte, and Crisp Italian Whites. So tonight we tried a couple of wine flights. So this is what's called the From the Hills of Pimonte. So you've got a white aperitif, white wine, followed by a juicy dolcetto and a dark roasted nebbiolo. So uh, I like I like wine flights, so I thought I'd try this out. It comes out on a cute, cute little board with the three three wines on it. And then they also bring out bread service for your table. Yeah, you still get bread service here. Yeah, and then some olive oil as well. So try this out, see you. Crisp, really nice crisp white wine. Really refreshing. Got a nice tart kind of citrus to it. I like that. Uh, try the, this is the Dolcetto. Ooh, I like that one. That's nice. It's a lighter, a lighter red. Um, maybe more similar to uh, Pinot Noir, or Petit Syrah. Um, that's, that's very nice. I like that. This one I'm guessing is that this is the Nebbiolo. That's your more, more robust red wine. Uh, definitely has some more more acidity, more tannins. Um, got more kind of more bold flavor. Um, but very good. I like I like all three. You just kind of work your way up. This one's very nice and light and crisp, mm -hmm. and, and it 
you like a, a refreshing white wine, that's a really nice one. Uh, this one's kind of if you like if you like you know Merlots or P.T. Syrah or you know Noir, you probably like this one. And if you like a Cabernet or or it's a Tuscan, you probably really like this one. <laughs> I know you're not taking my wine. You have your own. Show them your wine. <laughs> Delicious. I love these glass bottles. They're so pretty. Alright, Dave, so you got the Tuscan one, right? It's under Tus a Tuscan sun. So basically this is the Italian trio, the trio mm -hmm. flight. The first one is a is a Chianti. You got a Chianti. So so I'll try to pronounce these. <laughs> Chianti Terra di Bacco. Okay. Uh, Ghetto Dona Olympia. Okay. And Tre uh, Francia. <laughs> you have to Italian wine. Yep. <laughs> Three red Italian wines. <laughs> See what you think of them. That's what's most important. Oh, that's, that's a nice Day, Chianti. Day is a fan of Chianti's. I like Super Chianti's Tuscans. or yeah. well, they make a Chianti-like wine that's yeah. from the United States. Where, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Got a little bit of acidity, but not mm -hmm. not terrible. Yeah. Definitely fruit forward, but it's a pretty good county. Okay. So this is the Olympia. Olympia. You have to try them and, and see which one's your favorite. I like that one too. It's just a little bit different, uh, not as much acidity mm -hmm. as me, so that's good. I mean, not quite as fruit forward. Number three. <laughs> that's good too. <laughs> Pretty similar to the last one, right? Yeah. So you like all the ones in the Tuscan plate, basically. They're all up your alley. Those are all good. Favorite? Good. Awesome. We'll try this Caprese. Yeah, we got the Caprese. This looks delicious. Nice big pieces of the mozzarella and tomatoes and balsamic and olive oil and some salt and pepper. It looks really good. Okay, we're big Caprese fans, so yeah. we'll see what Sam thinks of this. Oh, it looks very fresh. It looks good. Let's see how it tastes. It looks as good as it tastes as good as it looks. That is always the key. <laughs> oh man, mozzarella, super fresh. Nice and it's got a nice uh, seasoning on it too. And the uh, tomato is very, very nice and bright tomato. Something just so, so refreshing. Yeah. Delicious about it, just a simple caprese, just simple ingredients, good and you know, delicious ingredients. Yeah. Very good on a hot day too. I like it. It's not a huge appetizer, but a yeah. decent little one to split between two people. One of my favorite things, just like simple, simple but fresh ingredients, just delicious if it's done well. It's hard to beat. So we got one of the entrees to share tonight. So we, this is the ravioli. It's a pretty large portion. This looks really good. The smells, the smell, if you guys had smell vision, it smells so good. So this is a grilled chicken ravioli, and it has ricotta, mozzarella, and Romano cream sauce with pesto. So, and you can see it's got all these fresh chives on top. It just, or it looks, it looks so good. So, you can see that pesto. Kind of sprinkled over the top, drizzled over the top. Try this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, take a look at this ravioli. That is full. That is full of roasted chicken in there. That's a nice ravioli. Cool little pocket. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. 
delicious. Lots of chicken in there. Got a nice flavor. The cream sauce has, it gives it a nice kind of a bite of cheese. But the pesto kind of gives it a freshness that kind of breaks over. And then they, they sprinkled a lot of Parmesan on here. So you're getting the rich, I'm getting the richness of the Parmesan. It's nice and salty and cheesy and delicious. It's a good dish. She liked this and uh, I'm really happy and pleased with the ravioli. It's perfectly cooked. They got a nice amount of chicken inside. The green sauce is delicious. And this is easily shareable. This is a lot of raviolis. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight raviolis. Easily shareable. If you want to get an appetizer, an entree, a dessert, maybe to share between two for a nice date night. This is awesome. All right, well, you're digging in. This is really good. Dave, let's see what Dave thinks. Let's chew a pie. This is his first taste. <laughs> right? Right? I know. I was, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised. This is a really good ravioli. This is a much, much, much better ravioli than we have at the festival booth. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, this is excellent. And, um, last time I had the lasagna here, it was pretty good, but this is much better. Yeah, I would I definitely, I would recommend this ravioli highly. This is very nice. Easily shareable, nice large portion, easily shareable if you want to. It's very good. Very good flavor. Yeah. Wonderfully cooked pasta, too. So this is a, a wonderful portion. Really, really pleased with the ravioli. Highly recommend this. One thing I wish I had done is save my, the bread from the bread service so I could soak up this delicious cheese sauce with the bread. Sauce left. Look at all this pesto and cream sauce left over. I just wish I could soak that up with some bread because I would totally eat that right now and not just like lick that off my plate. It's so good. Hey friends! So we just wrapped up our dinner at Tutu Gusto. Uh, we were so happy with, with how with this little wine bar. It was it just feels so cozy and nice, like a little wine cave. Um, so very similar to the, the same menu, same drinks that you can get at Tutu Italia, but doesn't require a dining advanced dining reservation. So that was really nice. Yeah, I think that's the big thing is yeah. you can just you can come and dine here, just go to the hostess stand. You might have to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. When we were there, there were plenty of open tables, and this is a yeah. pretty busy day. So yeah, I almost actually like the environment in Tutu Gusto a little bit better I because agree. it has the I feel agree. like a wine cave. It's very intimate and cozy, yeah. brick and wood trim. It's and, kind of similar to the Cilier, a little yeah. different and smaller, mm -hmm. but that same kind of like you're in a cellar, you're in that yeah. kind of environment. Right. Yeah. Plus, you don't have to have the reservation. You mm -hmm. can go in, get a table, enjoy a nice meal and wine flights. We really enjoyed the food. That that um, ravioli, I would highly recommend. Yeah. That was fantastic there's and lightning we are, we are coming out and we're enjoying a really nice, struck the nice, ball. nice lightning show out here tonight so yeah <laughs> disney world in the summer i know disney world in the summertime always gonna rain and get these storms coming in every so often so but That's yeah good. hope you guys we really oh. enjoyed it <laughs> and we're gonna go duck for cover <laughs> we're gonna so. go yeah hope you guys enjoyed this little review um definitely highly recommend to Gusto. such a fun place to stop in the italy pavilion when you're here at epcot hope you enjoyed this little this little video and hope you have a wonderful day we'll see you next time bye, bye. Guys.